Welcome everyone to the grand opening of the Bigfoot Trail. Hey. I want to thank everyone for making the time to come, especially against competition like the Mount Robson Marathon and other outdoor activities in lovely weather like we're having today. So without any further delay, I'm pleased to welcome MLA Shirley Bond, Minister of Jobs, Tourism and Skills Development, who's made time in an extremely tight schedule to fly in from, from Vancouver Victoria. today. Victoria. Victoria, yeah. pardon me, that's okay and drive down from Prince George in order to cut the ribbon for our ceremony. Well, first of all, thank you very much. I'm glad you're here for good news because when I saw my, when my husband and I drove up, I said, I, it's either a good news opening or it's a protest. So let's hope for, um, thank you. Thanks so much for being here today. And, and uh, you know, I love being able to partner with uh, the communities that I care so much about. I absolutely love representing the Robson Valley. and. And um, I've already heard that, you know, people are getting out and using the trail. And that's exactly what our hope was. And, and I just want to say a, a very special thank you and recognition to Marion, who, um, uh, Farquharson, who actually had the vision of, of, of getting out there. And uh, we just appreciate, you know, uh, people who come forward to council and say, let's do something. And uh, so congratulations. You must feel really happy about seeing people out here using it. And I'm, I'm sorry, I don't see Holly here, but I know that uh, Holly Blanchett really has been a champion for healthy lifestyle, getting out, walking. And I know she helped organize the uh, Valmont Walks around the world. So, you know, this is a chance to be healthy, to be active, to get out and about in the community. And what I love is it will also encourage people who are visiting the community to uh, connect from the downtown and do this wonderful loop. So, uh, Your Worship, thanks for the, the partnership and thanks for the uh, bringing the uh, application forward. The province provided just over $300,000. Uh, to make this happen and uh, one of the things I know about Valemount, McBride, the Robson Valley is once we get one project done the mayor wants to talk to me about what else is on his list already this afternoon exactly exactly so congratulations I hope you enjoy using it I couldn't be happier to be here and uh, we'll just keep working hard together to make sure we're improving uh, Valemount and the Robson Valley for those of you who live here um, so thanks for having us and thank goodness my husband was driving today I left Victoria this morning I got up at 4:30. Oh to, uh, flew to Vancouver, flew here. Everything worked perfectly, so thank you Air Canada for being on time today. So, <laughs> Anyway, thanks a lot you guys. Enjoy the trail and uh, we'll keep working hard to find other ways to improve uh, the village of Valemount. So thanks for having me today. I appreciate it. Don't go anywhere. You just right <laughs> very creative uh, ribbon cutting too. Thank you very much, Minister Bond. And now I'd like to invite um, Mayor Andrew McCracken, Mayor of Valemont, to say a few words. Before he speaks, I should have said this. 21 kilometers he ran today, and he looks and like he hasn't even been out. He, he uh, <laughs> congratulations. Now that's leading by example, out running 21k. So good job, your worship. Oh, Russia. thank you, thank that's you. Awesome. Well, I'll tell you what. 21k is uh, is a small amount compared to the the amount of traveling that you do <laughs> to re represent us so well. And I think. Uh, you know, we 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 would have liked to to to, to, to give a a, a a more lead up time to this event because mm -hmm. it's such an important thing. One of the things about this trail that is so special is that it's really owned by the community. Mm -hmm. And if you want a community to own a project, put rocks on it that they insist <laughs> that you take off. Because then they're all of a sudden like that's our. So the original trail had a lot of rocks on it on on uh, on Fifth Avenue yeah. all over the place. And uh, they were put by there by boys, and that showed. And uh, there was a mass uprising, and that was good because people said, you know, this is that something. Was a protest. This yeah. is. Oh God! Okay. <laughs> this is valuable. This is beautiful. This can be a great part of our community, but yeah. this is not how we see it happening. And so it's great when people take ownership, and even if they say things we don't want to hear, but that, but it, it was fantastic. Um, the uh, advocacy that. Uh, uh, our MLA shows towards Valmont is just incredible. It's incredible. She's worked so hard for us, and I am so happy that we can that you're here today mm -hmm. to help applaud the work that she's doing. Because as a cabinet minister, the, the 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 fate of so many projects in this province rests on her shoulders. Of so many things, there's so many hard decisions that she has to make 
deciding between worthwhile projects, can you think of a worse job than being that, <laughs> being part of that team that needs to say, you, you, we do this and not this? And uh, she does a tremendous job, and yet she still always comes back to, uh, to, to represent us. And then once in a while, we get to see her here, <laughs> no, and quite often, and we're so thankful for that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap up really quick. I wanna tell you about how great the Bigfoot Trail is. When it was still under construction, it was all yellow and just dirt, earth patch. I saw a guy walking on the trail and I, I said, this guy's got, I don't know this guy. We know everybody in Belmont, mm -hmm. right? This guy, he's got long hair, he's gray, he's got a big, big pot belly and a giant belt and belt buckle. And I didn't know him from Adam. And I took a look at him and I hate, you shouldn't profile people, but I'm like, that guy's not from here. That guy's from one of those big rigs, you know, from the highway. Anyways. I, maybe he was just walking to the liquor store. I don't know. So I just drove around. As I was driving around doing my routine that day, I saw him at various points around the trail. People who come through Belmont all the time are now experiencing our community. Absolutely fantastic. And that's a life-changing thing for them and for us. It's working. Great. Well, money well invested. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Okay, so I, I, I do have a little bit of a wrap-up because there's some people that we need to thank uh, that have worked very hard on this. And they don't always get recognition and we know they always get a hard time. So I'd like to also chime in with recognition for Marion. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I'd also like to recognize that she was put onto a committee, the Bigfoot Trail Committee, and I'd like to recognize that committee as well as Bel Belmont Tourism, which was responsible for really getting this and, 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 and pushing it into a focus and staying with it. Uh, even when times got <coughs> got tricky there, when we had rock, a, rock, a rock revolution. Thank goodness those rocks weren't, weren't small enough to pick up. Because they could have got on. You could have got one inside of the head. Yeah, that's right. Um, you know, uh, so we, we've got this am amazing. One of the things that I, I am, am most proud of the, the, the whole organization, all of the work, is that the work has been done by local contractors. Mm -hmm. And that, that is really good and really special. Let me tell you what that speaks about. Local contractors are always welcome to work on, on anything. But what it was, was somebody realized there was a project here, felt invested. Uh, Vince Clark and, and Dave mm -hmm. Craig from uh, Alpine Country Rentals, and said, let's be a part of this and let's do this. And really go outside, because being the general contractor is not the same equipment or, or doing other things. And I think it's, paradoxically, it is that idea of saying, you know what, let's put it on the line, make an investment and try to, you know, what is the upside? You you get to make money in the place that you live and, that, and that's just mm -hmm. fantastic. So I'm really pleased that uh, local contractors won the bid and obviously because they did such a fantastic job. Mm -hmm. Clear winners. Yeah, they did a good yeah. job. I'm going, to, I'm going to wrap it up there and, and turn it back over to the MC who will guide us through the sacred portion. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mayor McCracken. We're now going to ask Minister Bond to unveil a trail map oh, yeah, sign, right. which is one of right, several yeah. signs planned for the, the trail. Oh, fantastic. We don't want to wreck whatever this is, someone's quilt. There we go. There we go. There we are. Oh, that right. is great. great. Oh, that's lovely, isn't there we it? Are. All the details, 4.9 kilo, one kilometers. That is fantastic. So there'll be a few more of these along the way. That's right. Great. And is it completely wheelchair accessible? Yeah, yes, excellent. Absolutely. That's fantastic yeah. too. Yeah, that's great. Well, congratulations. Thank you. You did a great job Thank having you. the dream, and now we get it's to. It's wonderful. It's yeah. just wonderful. That's it's magic. Good. Yeah, it is. So okay. we'll cut the ribbon. And... Okay. All right. Yes. We'll now ask Minister Bond to cut the ribbon for the Marianne, come official back. Yeah, grand opening of the Bigfoot uh, Trail. Yeah. Minister Bond <laughs> and Marion together. Sure, let's put our scissors How do we do together. How do we do yeah, that? We'll do that. Very good. Okay. You hold it and I'll We've obviously done this together. And I'll yeah. supervise. You go ahead. No, 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 no. no. You, you get a hand in there. Okay. And then I'll keep my hand on your shoulder. Okay, look up first. Yeah. <laughs> Got it? There we right go. On. Yay! Good for you. <laughs> so great. That is just so wonderful. Thank you, Minister, You're and thank you, welcome. Mayor. We um, hope that everyone here will enjoy and use the trail regularly. Thank you all for coming. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. So we're here with our MLA, Shirley Bond. Shirley, welcome to Belmont, and uh, 
Tell us about the ribbon cutting here this afternoon. Well, I was very pleased to be able to be here today. I know this is a project that has uh, really come about as a result of a local vision where, uh, you know, someone comes forward and says, we need to do something to, uh, to allow people to have a place to walk or to ride or to take baby strollers, all of those things. So the province was a very proud partner in this project. Uh, but really, this is about having a vision, having the uh, partnership with uh, Village Council, uh, Vailmount Tourism. So it's a really exciting day today and I'm hearing the trail is already getting lots of use. It has been getting lots of use from uh, all age groups and uh, people are really starting to enjoy it. Uh, it's part of the province's, uh, I think, push to, to try to create more family-friendly spaces, more wheelchair accessible spaces. Can you speak to that? Well, you know, and again, I have to say a big thank you to Holly Blanchett, who really was uh, a champion of, of a healthy uh, lifestyle, so, uh, talking about uh, how we can give people accessibility and how they can get involved. And, and it is about a healthier lifestyle. You want to make that easy for families. So, you know, if they can take the dog for a walk or the baby, push the baby stroller or ride their bikes um, and make it easy for them to do that, that's going to have a, a really important downstream uh, impact. When we think about uh, health care today, one of the reasons we're facing such extraordinary costs, um, it, it's about personal lifestyle choices. You know, and if we all got out and exercised 30 minutes every day and, and ate in a more healthy way, uh, we would see health care uh, costs uh, certainly uh, being, uh, being uh, mitigated. So this is about healthy lifestyles. Most importantly, I'm just proud of the people uh, in, in Vailmount for coming up with the idea. My job was to be an advocate and make sure we found some money to help here. Congratulations, it's been a long time coming. Oh, it's just wonderful. But we, it's, it's been in the process, but we started seeing work happening last year. And as soon as we started seeing the ground being cut, it, the, big, the time, the big, most time was spent doing the persuading. Right, right. So let's talk a little bit about the history. How long has it been, uh, been in the works? I think, I think originally it was 2010 that we, I had the idea and the idea was we were trying to get people across the tracks to the to the guild but they always stopped at that side any visitors tourists came up the, through the village but they stopped at the railway because they were frightened so we thought of the idea of putting footprints on the road and calling it the Bigfoot Trail because we've got a history of Bigfoot stuff. Okay well tell people about that what is for those that don't know what's the history in Vailmount of a Bigfoot? Oh, don't quote me on dates exactly, but there was a gentleman called um, William Rowe, who's Bobby Rowe's father-in-law, by the way, uh, who was in Micah Mountain and saw what he said was a Bigfoot. And he made a drawing of it, and he claimed it, and he registered it as a sighting, and a, a sighting, a complete sighting. So we thought, well, Micah's maybe a little further away, but... Close enough for us to use. Well, if, if they're straight down the road a little bit. Uh, exactly. If they're that close, they must have yeah, been I here. Sure. I think there was a sighting earlier this year. Anyway, I, I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh, yeah. I heard about that. Somebody caught a photograph. Somewhere in the park, I think. Um, yeah. Centennial next Park. To, yes, next to where the cemetery is. Right, right, right. There was a, something, and I think there were also. It was also spotted over this side. So this must be really rewarding for you and, and personally satisfying to see this come to fruition because, as you say, it started with an original idea of just painting some footprints and here we're sitting on a, a trail that uh, costs multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars and, and many years of work and we're actually here and it's a reality. I, I tell you, I used to... Squ Can I tell the story about the elephants? Yeah. I, came from, I come from Africa and the whole time I was in Africa, 35 years, I squeaked when I saw an elephant. It was always exciting. I actually squeak when I see somebody on the trail. You know, I've, I've seen women with prams, two, two abreast. I've seen people from the old folks safely traveling, joggers safely traveling. It's not finished yet. There's a few things to do, but oh, so satisfying to see people using it. So what would your hope be for this trail for the future? I would like to see it go on down I'd like to see it go on, I want, well I want my big foot on it anyhow. I would like to see it go on down by the river and then down through under the underpass. That underpass bit is beautiful. I don't think it's very well used yet, but it's beautiful. But if we could just add it on so you could go right through and down and into the information centre. So you could leave your cars parked to that end and do the whole thing. Beautiful, nice loop, uh, phase two perhaps? Phase two, phase food, little food. <laughs> Now you seemed very excited with the ribbon cutting. Was that a fun experience for you? Oh, I thought it was going to be really boring. 
I didn't expect to be included and I was highly honored to be included. Well, on behalf of everyone in Bailmount, and I'm a new person to Bailmount, this is a wonderful trail and thank you for your hard work on it. Thank you. Thank you and thank everybody who helped, the whole committee. It's a, it's a joint effort. It was a huge joint effort, but worth it. Great. Just, did you want to mention uh, the people on the committee as well? Um, yeah. You can think about it. Ch it changed, yeah. <laughs> it's gone through a couple of councils too. The original council was, um, what's his name, Doll. She was gone by the time you came. It was Murray Capstick on that committee. And then the committee, the, the council changed. And then there was um, Holly Blanchett, Dallas Bullock, uh, Patricia Tony, Charles Cosmadier, Cosmadia, Peter Falmark. Um, no, 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 no. And of course, at the background always was Sylvia Gislamberti. And I can't tell you how many times I've walked around this path. <laughs> every time I say, well, we put this, well, we put that, well, we put the next thing. And every time I was going to walk around again. But it's a super path to walk. It is, and it's a, it's a wonderful partnership. I mean, it's a partnership between the province, between the village, uh, local citizens uh, coming together. It's, it's truly, I think, uh, the way projects need to get done in the future. Oh, absolutely. And get out and have your ideas and put them forward, but stick with them to the end. Don't let anybody away with anything. <laughs> stick with it until you get the final nail put in. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.